Those playground closures come as New York's death toll tops 1,000, an increase of 182 since just last night. And of the city's nearly 42,000 patients, 20% require hospitalization, a sign that temporary hospitals, which now include the Billie Jean King Tennis Center in Queens, will become more common. But the city at the epicenter of this coronavirus crisis isn't just running out of room for treating sick patients. News Force Ray Vieta tonight beginning our team coverage live from the Upper East Side where sadly, Ray, a refrigerated truck is now in place to make space for the dead. Stephen and Natalie, the stat bears repeating 182 deaths in our city in the last 24 hours because of COVID-19. For that reason, Lenox Hill here and hospitals throughout the city have set up mobile morgues like that one because they anticipate a surge in cases and a surge in deaths. In Central Park's East Meadow, the finishing touches on a temporary hospital. When it opens, there will be 68 beds here to treat overflow patients from Mount Sinai. As one hospital in the park opens, playgrounds at city parks close. This a way to prevent big groups from forming and COVID-19 from spreading. Ten playgrounds across the five boroughs now closed. Some parents finding out after showing up to enjoy the afternoon. I don't think it's necessary to close. I think people should show, have the choice to, to choose either going out or not. As the number of cases in New York continues to grow, the state and city are working to open up more hospitals. Already, the USNS Comfort is on the Hudson, 1,000 beds there to treat non-COVID-19 patients. The Javits Center will take on 1,000 intensive care patients and another 1,000 non-COVID patients. Governor Andrew Cuomo says this and more still needed as we approach the peak of the pandemic expected in about two weeks. The main battle is at the apex. We're still going up the mountain. The main battle is on the top of the mountain. Today, Mayor Bill de Blasio visited the Billie Jean King Center in Queens. The home of the U.S. Open will now be home to 350 beds. Starting next week, this facility will be able to take people from Elmhurst, not folks who need ICU care, but other coronavirus patients. Elmhurst needs that help. It is the epicenter within the epicenter. Long lines stretch out the ER doors. Doctors and nurses there working around the clock as the cases keep coming. I intubated 19 patients in the past 48 hours, 42 patients in the past four days. And that is way more than normal. This is the new normal, a healthcare system consumed by a virus. Even the governor's brother, anchor Chris Cuomo, also tested positive for COVID-19. A national crisis truly hitting home for New Yorkers. It's my family, it's your family, it's all of our families. And this virus is that insidious. 500 paramedics and EMTs from all over the country arrived here today to help first responders respond to the record setting numbers and calls for help. Now, to end on somewhat of a positive note, every night at 7 o'clock, New Yorkers are clapping to cheer on the healthcare workers putting their lives at risk to help save other lives. That clapping gets louder every night. We're live on the Upper East Side tonight. I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York. Yeah, Ray, those videos are heartwarming of the clapping. Okay, thank you. Each day, this pandemic is taking a bigger toll on the NYPD. Nearly 5,700 officers called out sick today. Almost 1,200 tested positive for COVID-19, including civilian employees. And the FDNY also facing challenging times. 2,800 of its members called out sick. 282 tested positive for coronavirus. Stefan.